Hello everyone, Matthew from Audio Control here today, uh, coming to you from the very gray Pacific Northwest to talk to you about our LGD products. Uh, there's a lot of misinformation about the LGDs as far as what they do and when to use them. Um, my goal today is to help just clear up any confusion and uh, help you guys choose the right product for the situation. So I should start by mentioning that all of our LGDs um, are physically about the same size. They all come in pairs and they all have the bulletproof uh, audio control five-year warranty as long as they're installed by a authorized dealer. Um, so let's start by talking about why you need an LGD at all. Um, the reason is because most all late model OEM sound systems use a class D chipset for their amplification circuit. Um, why do we care? Because when you remove the factory speakers from that system, the amp circuit sees basically that there's no load present. Um, when this happens, these factory sound systems start to become unstable. Uh, issues like distortion on the high frequencies, excess energy being output above the listening range, and even no sound output at all are all common issues. Um, so now that we understand why we need these, let's talk about the original LGD. So the original LGD is the one in the blue heat shrink. Um, the common misconception that I hear every day is that these trick the factory radio into having output. That's not quite the case. Um, what these really do is generate a load so that the system thinks there's a speaker present, but what this in turn does is stabilizes the output, maintains your high frequency clarity, and reduces the noise floor, make sure that there isn't any other unwanted noise issues. Uh, basically what the audio control LGDs do to your signal is what sound deadening does for your door panels. Um, it's a good way to think of it. Uh, these were released a few years ago, and they work great for just about any OEM system, but are especially useful on 2005 and up vehicles. Um, in the last few years, we noticed we were getting more and more calls from installers attempting to use the original blue LGDs um, to fix issues in Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram vehicles, um, where there was a no sound condition uh, after you know removing the OEM speakers from the system. Uh, unfortunately, this is not the correct use of the blue LGD product, um, but since audio control saw a need in the market, we developed two new LGDs. So we have the LGD 20 and the LGD 60 products, which are shipping soon. Um, the LGD 20 is in the green heat shrink. Uh, it's designed specifically for 2015 and up Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Maserati vehicles that have an OEM non-amplified sound system. The LGD60 is in the gray heat shrink. Uh, this was designed for 2015 and up amplified sound systems. So uh, these are gonna sometimes be referred to as premium sound systems, uh, or they might be branded sound systems like the Infinity, Harman Kardon, uh, Boston Acoustics, Alpine, Beats Audio Systems. Uh, just keep in mind that not all amplified systems will be branded, but all branded systems do have an amplifier. Um, how they get installed, uh, if you are putting in one of our OEM integration products like the LC7i and you have your factory signal already going into one of the input plugs, the cool thing is, is that all of the LGDs um, basically use that same port. So if you already have this wired in and you haven't grabbed your LGD yet or you're having issues in the vehicle, you can basically just unplug this, take your LGD, you, the connectors that come on the LGD are the same, so we're gonna plug that into there. And now we can use that same port to feed our signal in. So basically all I did was unplug that, put this in line, and you can see it just plugs right in line into the system there. A um, few things to keep in mind, uh, if you aren't sure if the vehicle you're working on needs an LGD or not, it can't hurt to put them in. Uh, they will never hurt anything. They can only help. So if you're maintaining the OEM head unit in your system and your vehicle's newer than 2005, chances are you're going to need an LGD of some sort. Um, I hope this video helped to clear up any confusion about these products. If you guys have more questions about uh, these or any of Audio Control's products, feel free to contact us via our website, uh, social media, or you can give us a phone call. Um, we're always here to answer questions and uh, help you guys out however we can. So thanks for watching.